tell Tone it's a real money in the room. OG Percy. What's good? What's good, Tone? Uh, what you got? Well, okay, okay, okay. Since the last time we've had the opportunity and privilege of sitting down, a lot's transpired in the news. Okay. Most recently, Diddy has gone viral after Homeland Security has raided two of his mansions, one in LA, hmm. another in Miami. Um, OG, we've covered Diddy before. Um, I gotta ask you, did you see this one coming? Oh, uh, I told y'all. Once again, right here on Real Tune, if you wanna do the Real Tune um, homework, if you've been keeping up with Real Tune for all my tune knots, tuning lights, alumni, as it's been out there, uh, if you've been keeping up, we, if you've been keeping up with uh, all the Real Tune interviews when he speak about P Diddy, every time we got you know his his name came up several times in our interviews, but if you go and listen to the message in them interviews. I told y'all what was coming. We've we been said this was, come on, man. We told this story, but a year ago before even, you know what I'm saying? Uh, did, did he been running? It's one thing I tell people all the time. You ain't going to run from the most high. <laughs> yeah, you don't get that high. Uh, the running you doing, you know what I'm saying, it, it's, you know, he looking for the physical people. That ain't who after him. <laughs> I'm telling you. His money can buy off the physical, but when the spiritual people is out there, the spiritual warfare is out there, you, you gonna get caught. You can't run from him. Uh, you will leave here the same way you came. You came in this world naked, naked you should leave out. Mm. You didn't have everything, you, you, didn't, you didn't prosper, you didn't have your heaven on earth, but you turned it into hell. <laughs> you had your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Heaven and hells are conditions of life. Uh, they what you make it to be. They conditions of life. Whatever, you can have your heaven here or you can have your hell here. It, there's not, heaven and hell is not places that you go. They're conditions of life. Yeah, I know y'all think, oh, heaven, hell, oh, big old, hell, fire. Uh, that's what they told y'all. But heaven and hell are conditions of life. You can have it here. Uh, I know people that's living in mental hells right now, just sitting up in the mental hell. I know people living in a, uh, a heaven right here on earth. But anyway, he had his heaven on earth and he turned it into hell. Uh, the spiritual I give you everything. I can't speak on Diddy level because I ain't got billions of money, but I got uh, trillions of, of um, experience. Uh, I, I've looked at people like Diddy. We came up in the same era. Um, what he was going through, I was keeping up with. He ain't too much older than I am. You know, we just sit back and watch the young niggas come up. You know, this whole other, yeah, we were dancing every, um, um, from the locks to mace, to, to um, big, the, all the people that he had a chance to, um, Give them a piece of heaven on her. He turned their heaven into hell. Where they at right now? R.I.P. the Biggie. <laughs> uh, you know, sacrifices has to be made. Uh, I saw, I saw. you know, um, you got bodies on the streets. I mean, everybody looking at what he doing. The man been, you know, hey. Uh, it's been a tale on you. Not by, you know, society. They just catching on. Y'all just now catching on to what's going on. Um, but uh, spiritually, man, I already knew Diddy was under attack um, when you don't do right. Nigga even had Sean Combs. Models, I mean, this man had his heaven, man. People walking down the runway modeling meat cold with the Sean John. Come on, man. Runways. Uh, biggest music people, man, whatever you want in the world. Uh, <laughs> but your money can't buy God. I'm sorry, this ain't a religious station. I just, you know, I just got to get you out of real of what people don't see. People are looking at everything Diddy going through. Yeah, they going, they finna run you down. Uh, I told y'all. Listen, man. I don't know what God has given me to see. But when we said, you know, the T.D. Jake situation, I told y'all these people, I told y'all everybody finna start getting under the bed. Look here, they finna, 
the, the, huh, I tell y'all 24 what's gonna happen, huh, a lot of sheets gonna get snatched off. The rich can't hide no more. Oh, y'all remember what the word, you know? The first should be last. <laughs> Hello. And the last should be. Talk to him. Don't play with me out here. I, I was one of the last. But I'm getting the first say so now. Bars. I just had to throw that in <laughs> my bag. But anyway, I had to play the picture for y'all for y'all to catch the bar. Uh, but yeah, the first should be last. They had it first. We watched them. Shit. Niggas said, well, you, 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 you too. Say you ain't watch none of did it. He had the whole world watching. And when people get the whole world in their hand, they think they own the whole world. Now, nah, partner, when you, they start thinking like that, hey, you can give him a couple of keys, he's gonna take it on in my title. <laughs> couple of keys. This man, you know, um, it's a shame when you can't fight what you can't see. Um, when what you when was after P Diddy, the same thing after T D Jakes. It's not bad. Go, man. I, I gotta go again. I hate to sound spiritual, but I have to say what I have to say when it's in me to say it, y'all. My bad. But but when the man say what he after you, you can run, you can hide. It ain't no getting away. Um, the fight that's in the we living in the last days and times, y'all. I'm telling you, I was telling you too. This is what this is what they don't. This is what they wanted here. This is why this is the real tune. You gotta stay in tune to what's going on. Yeah, it's big money in the room because we give you what you're supposed to hear and it don't cost you nothing. Come on. <laughs> That's big money. You know, if you spend it right. That means if you learn something. That means if you get the message and not the mess. You understand me? Uh, but the, the fight that they fight, they not gonna, they not gonna get away with it. Young Dolph didn't get away with it. If you shed blood, you get blood. Big Juke didn't get away with it. You shit, don't worry about it. I'm gonna let y'all keep up. If you shed blood, you get blood. P. Diddy ain't getting away with it. T.D. Jakes ain't getting away with it. It don't matter how it come to you. Y'all not getting away with it in 24. Shh, don't worry. It's more to come. It's more to come. Uh, you know, even with those names that ain't got popped under the Dilly umbrella. Whew, on fire. <laughs> Now, all the names is under Dilly Umbrella. You know what I'm saying, though? No. Shout out to Mr. Um. What's his name? Vanessa. Nah, Mr. Bentley. Shout out to Mr. Bentley. Right. Shout out to Mr. Bentley. You understand me? Mr. Bentley used to hold an umbrella over Puffy Head all the time. If y'all didn't know who Mr. Bentley don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Bentley, he's the guy that got P. You know, everybody used to want to know why he hold a P. You know, Tune looking at me like he lost or something right now. Yeah, you talking about the umbrella that that uh, Finesse had in his music video. I forget for Finesse, I say P. Diddy. Right. Mr. Bentley. Now, Tune gonna lose some brownie points. My bad. Tune is a youngster. My bad, y'all. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to keep these guys in culture. I forgot. I got... My, I'm bad. my bad, Tune. My bad. I forgot. <sighs> but anyway, back in the days, y'all, <laughs> in my, you know... I'm a caveman. I've been here 25 plus 25. <laughs> that's a long, that's double the trouble. Yeah, you know, uh, and the knowledge. Hold on, the experience. That's a good thing to put on your resume. I got 50 years experience. Right. Plus five. Fold my bad, I'm trying to rush it. Working on the five. But back in the days, there was a guy named Mr. Bentley he used to hold an umbrella over Puff Diddy head. Everywhere Puff Daddy went, Puff Daddy had Mr. Bentley get out with him, and Mr. Bentley had to stand out in the goddamn rain, sleet, and snow. Whatever Puff Daddy went, that umbrella had to be over Puff Daddy's head. He kept that Mr. Bentley with him. Um, Mr. Bentley ended up being, you know, you know, back then, we already knew that was one of the Puffy toy things back then. Uh, you know, Mr. Bentley, you know, we tell your character, you know, you're a good gentleman. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Carry yourself, but, you know, we know, you know, but how you act, you know, you might be on the other side of the rainbow. <laughs> She is a whole bunch of them. But at the same time, Mr. Bentley was a gentleman uh, under the rainbow guy. And he kept the umbrella over Puff D's head, and that was his job to do that. So when these stories come out, but Mr. Bentley ended up being somebody in the end, besides Puffy, little umbrella man. 
Come to find out, Mr. Bentley could rap his goddamn self. Come to find out, Mr. Bentley had talent himself. Them the ones that they hold back, the ones with the talent, so they can use them for their toy things. But when Mr. Bentley came out, Mr. Bentley came out spinning that umbrella on his ass and dancing with that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bentley can get down for real. And Mr. Bentley gained fans, but then we didn't see Mr. Bentley no more. Oh, don't pray about it. Just pay attention. Um, when it, if y'all come out with this um thing, please have a, Mr. Bentley with a, the PDD. Hold on, bro, over here. Look for that. It's on there. But at the same time, goddamn me, um, Puff Daddy, um, he's um, you know, man took off running. <laughs> you know, from what I heard, you know, last night I was keeping up with it, goddamn. They done it. You know, his jet over here, his jet been flying here. He been flying his jet all around over this motherfucker, trying to figure out where he gonna go now. Your jet then ended up all the way across, goddamn me, and um, um, uh, um, where you at? You down there in the Bahamas, some motherfucking world, uh. You know, you that's just where your jet is. You know, your jet was already spotted on the whole different side of goddamn me another state. Um, uh, to give a little PD a little advice. <laughs> um, the state is not looking for you. Nigga, the feds is. Oh no, 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 no. Actually, it's Homeland Security. Um, they did that's a federal goddamn me um organization, too. Yeah, yeah, that's not a state organization. That ain't um county jail, nigga. That ain't go downtown booking, nigga. Yeah, that's that's now. Matter of fact, I'm glad you beefed up a little security. See, um, nigga don't even say feds no more. They say home when that man say homeland security, I mean a lot of y'all just listening to what it is. But the man said land. Whatever piece of the land you own, nigga. The feds. Homelands, it, it, wherever, uh, I don't care where your plane is, you chipped. You been chipped and neutered, Diddy. You know you been chipped and neutered, man. You know you part of their society, man. You can't run from your own society that you run. Yeah, come on, man, how you gonna stop playing? Who don't work with, you know, it's a whole bunch of y'all. You thought you was the only one, you just running from one bird nest to the next bird nest. But this is what you got your plane doing. You got your plane playing chess right now. That's what I think. And that plane could be in there, but who say you own it, motherfucker? You, you be sitting right there looking at it. But don't worry, they just looking at you, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't get away from Homeland Security. Because guess what? They are connected to cyber security. Hmm. Yeah, you better do your homework, boy. Uh, it goes deeper than that. Homeland Security ain't shit. Then we start fitting fuck with that cyber security. Yeah. That AI security, nigga, you 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 get it, you'll get used to it. Uh. They looking at you, looking for them. We already know where you at. Just goddamn, be still, let us get there. That's all it's about with them. Be still, let us get there. Um, cause you gonna have to reap what you sow. That's when the physical looking for you. One thing about the physical, they gonna find you. They're gonna find you regardless, cause the spiritual people gonna lead them to you all the time. <laughs> Yeah, because when, when that spirit out there, you, I don't care where you go. See what's going through Diddy mind now is goddamn, man. You know, when you trying to outsmart what you done did, when you take out running, you already know what we know what that means. Um, when they go in there and snatch your kids up, shit. We double know what that means, and they got two. Oldest and the young, got both of your little kids up in there snatch. Oh, now y'all going too, nigga? Hell yeah. Oh, y'all, man, come on, man. You know one thing about this knock right here? It's different from this one. Hey, open the door. Now, when you get this knock, that's them heavy hand boys. Oh, don't worry, we're not going nowhere. <laughs> Shit like that. They coming in. They coming in. Everywhere you goddamn go, they gonna come in. Uh, one thing when them alphabet boys out there, you, uh, you can run, you can hide, they, they, they own the home, the, your land. They are the security, wherever you go, partner, you can't run from them. Uh, Diddy know that, um, damn. Whew. They gonna cut off all your water. <laughs> oh, you look, you can't go use your little black card, no world. Uh, oh yeah, oh, oh that's so. You gotta use toilet paper, nigga. Now. <laughs> uh. 
it's not funny to see people reap what they sow, but it, 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 it's, it's a life experience for people to learn off what other people do to other people, man. Don't think it ain't gonna don't care how high and mighty you think you is. People learn from the lesson. Now, it's a whole bunch of mess going on, but here's the message. Learn from your lesson, man. If you got it like Diddy got it, if you having your piece of heaven right here on earth, if God blessing you to be able to do for somebody, let me tell you something, people. Do right by it. If you ain't gonna do right by it, it's gonna come back on you. I don't give a damn how high you think you living at that time. Oh, you ain't gonna leave her <laughs> without paying my daddy his money. My thing about my daddy, if he give you a loan, he gonna want that back. Yeah, yeah, he don't want that back. He done gave a lot of y'all alone. Y'all gotta keep up with the balls in between the lines while I'm spitting. And yeah, let's see if you can catch something. But if my daddy didn't gave anybody y'all alone that's looking at real tune right now, that means pay him back. Like Sean Puffy Combs, he got a loan. Mm -hmm. Shit, that nigga got a loan. That nigga got benefits. That nigga got the whole package that came with. You know, my daddy loan. My uh -huh. daddy, my father, you know, can you tell me what? Make it. Make it make sense. My father, which are in heaven. Well. Y'all heard how it started. I think all y'all done prayed that prayer before. Our father. Uh huh. Our, not yours. <laughs> not you, just mine. It's just, I, it said our. Mm -hmm. That means everybody get, you know, get to share daddy. Yes, sir. With no color. Because everybody prayed the same prayer. Uh. Um. Which are in heaven. That's our father. If he give you a loan, if he give you something, to, you know, you can help somebody, benefit somebody, get a making of a band, get, you know, um, you know, get, you know, give you a loan after loan. Yes, he will. Benefit. You got a mace, you got a biggie, you got uh -huh. 11, 12, 112, you got, you got the locks, the Lord just blessing and blessing. You got um, making of the bands, you got the Sean Puffy clone clothing like God. Damn, you got mansions, you got yachts, you got God. Damn. When you gonna pay him back? Mm -hmm. When you gonna pay him back? He gave it all to you. I don't see nobody right now that you didn't, you know. You know, you, you flip, you flip, you went up. See, when he give you heaven, some people become like Lucifer. When God give you, you know, you know when Lucifer was up there with, with, with daddy, he thought he was bigger than daddy. <laughs> they say, huh? Cast his ass down into the earth. You understand? When you think you bigger than daddy, because a lot of them get, you know, daddy bless them that much, they think they bigger than the man. Mm. They get shit, look at Jake's. He had it all in the palm of his hand. You can't tell him nothing. Man, you can't tell him nothing. Daddy give him all this goddamn power down here and what they do abuse it. I'm saying it to say this. We ain't gonna worry about what they doing. Worry about what you doing. If you got a little power, please don't abuse it. Don't think you're going to get away. Let them be the lesson and you learn off of them. I try to tell people all the time, the only way I got to be 54 years old, I learned off of others. I had to, people had to die for me to learn. Hello! Yeah, people actually had to die. I looked at a lot of dead niggas learning off of them to know what not to do. <laughs> Shit. That's what I got out of looking at them dead people. Uh. When I, just, I ain't doing that, because I don't want to look like that. If that's what that's going to get me, I'm not going to do that. Hello? Yeah, because that's what that gets you. And if you keep doing what you're doing, that's what that's going to get you. And if you keep doing what you're doing, that's what that's going to get you. P. Diddy kept doing what he was doing because he didn't think that was going to get him. And that got him. Hello? Boys, hit this too. That's this fucking with me in here, nigga. That guy that ran that on him. You hear me? That's a bit <laughs> I like that. That's how you work in here. Um, <coughs> I like that. Balls, for real. Man, we learn. We learn we learn off of other mistakes, man. Learn off of other mistakes. I hope y'all, I hope I can just you know say, I want people, because I know people gonna ride the Diddy wave. Um, we but you know me and Tune, we always catch boats the other way. We jump off the ship and get on our own boat. We just paddle the other way with subjects, man. Um, I hate to see P. Diddy lose, but um, because I always thought he was a winner. Bars. I mean, quick follow-up question on P. Diddy. Let's go. 
So, my question to you, OG. Okay. As somebody who's uh, been to the penitentiary um, half your life and so on and so forth. How do you think Diddy will be treated um. if, I'm, I'm just going to throw this if in there, right? Knock on wood, right? Okay. Um, if, if found guilty of what he's being accused of. Well, you know, when, you, when you're when dealing with a, a high society crime person, goddamn me, a high profile person, um, they get you no know, high profile um, benefits. Right. But the sad thing about old Diddy, Get ready to be alone, Diddy. Get ready to be alone. Get get ready to be alone and get ready to be uh, somewhere you can't manipulate somebody. Uh, get ready to be around people if they, you know, whenever they, whenever they decide to let you around society people, uh, because you're going straight to the thing called protected custody because you're a whole high profile. One thing they're going to do is protect you. Right. <laughs> you livestock. Mm. Livestock shit. They gonna take care of the livestock and shit. And you gonna give a damn if you're dying, they got a medical center there for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever medicines you need, they gonna keep they stock alive. Right. No, you ain't gonna get to hang yourself, kill yourself in the cell or nothing. Uh, you gonna get a lot of what I call me time. You, you, you gonna get a lot of time to have to think about some stuff. Uh, you're going to get a lot of time to do what I call reflect. Uh, if you want to know, if you want a little help, I know a couple of people. I know I, I got somebody that you, they can help you get through this situation. Make it make sense. Bill Cosby. Get a hold of Bill Cosby. He'll tell you how to mentally make it through this situation. I know it, boy. <laughs> Give a Bill Cosby, he gonna tell you how many lonely nights you gonna have. He gonna tell you how money don't mean nothing no more. He gonna tell you how you gonna cry many nights. He gonna tell you how many nights you gonna have to sit back and reflect on what you did, how you did it. He gonna tell you you gonna miss what you always had. Whew. Not never had, I always, God, that was fire to him. You gonna miss what you always had because you ain't never not had. <laughs> Get a hold of Bill Cosby. Bill gonna give you some game. Bill gonna slip you a pill and tell you this is what's going down. Call Peel call Bill. Peel Bill will give you the game, man. Peel Cosby. Call Peel Cosby. Peel Cosby let you know uh, he had to kill off old Peel Cosby and come back to Bill Cosby. Uh, you gonna know you got to peel off that Diddy nigga and come back to Sean. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna keep on. I know I'm gonna run you out of here today. I'm gonna run you out of here today. You hear me? You gonna have to peel that off and come back to Sean John, man. I had to get rid of old Pete out. I had to get rid of old Pete out. Uh. Come on. Uh, some things gotta die off, Diddy. Or they'll kill you. You didn't hear that boy, did you? I said, some things gotta die off or they'll kill you. Uh, but don't worry about it, God. It's all you gonna need right, right now. Your money don't mean nothing. Ask Bill. Uh, mm -hmm. You gonna get yourself in a lot of trouble because right now the little games you gonna go in there playing thinking you can get away with, <laughs> you gonna find out it don't work no more. They don't like little rich, smart mouth niggas like you. My bad, I had to say that one. They don't like little rich, spoiled brothers like you. <laughs> How about that? That sound better. Rich, spoiled brothers like you. Um, they get it all and think you can do anything and do it all and don't do it the right way. Let me tell you, you got decent people out there that do right by their money. You got good, shout out to Denzel Washington, man. You know, I'm just saying, though, you know, people that get, you know, if you want to speak on, I mean, somebody that'll, that'll sit there and just say, hey, man, brother, this is what I do with mine, and I, you know, everybody got their own problems. But some people do right by theirs. Everybody don't do wrong, and God bless a lot of these people. They really, really, 
it be the ones we don't see that's giving away all the good blessings. <laughs> the ones that don't get acknowledged for the ones they don't even mention. They don't even say nothing about them. We don't know nothing. They the ones behind the scenes. Mm. Just looking at the, how they money, just know they, they, they and they get a proud just looking at it saying, you know what? You know, and it makes them know they done that. They, they don't want to be seen. Them the ones that's really prospering. Ain't abusing they shit. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, and it, it just enjoy, you know, watching God, you know, bless them, bless others. Mm. Some of you niggas turn into animals, demons. Have people worshiping you, pissing in niggas' mouths and shit. Shout out to R. Kelly. Don't worry about it. I mean, I'm stuck to just, that was just a jab. <laughs> Shout out to R. Kelly. When you got it all, you, I'm just saying, people, we got lines of people that abuse, you know, you know, uh, they power. They power, they, they got power. Power is a, man, power is a, um, a, a stressful thing to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stressful. If I, if I want some power, shit, give it to them. Give it to them, you can even handle the power. A lot of them couldn't handle the power. The power to, you know what you, niggas get y'all the power, you know what you say? I just want to be back like I used to be, man. Just chilling by myself, fuck all this. You know what I'm saying? Chilling by myself, fuck all this. I don't want to be on all that. So, um, but niggas that do right by it, man. The ones that do right by it get a long way by it, man. If you do right by it, you get a long way by it, man. Uh, it ain't gonna kill you. Uh, the prison system gonna treat Puffy like uh, an inmate, uh, for him to learn what he needs to learn, they're going to break him, boy. <laughs> they're going to break you, boy. Because one thing about Diddy, uh, he's very sarcastic. Uh, he's very manipulative. Uh, he think he got a damn pack. It don't matter. Uh, you know, niggas think that they, man, nigga want money. Nigga, money, nigga, gonna go, nigga. Say, man, come here, man. I give, man. I give you a thousand dollars, nigga. Shut your mouth, talking to me. Like, hey, man, what's wrong with you, man? Don't never bring up money to me again up in here, boy. Yeah, call your lawyer or something. Tell him I slap you in your motherfucking mouth because you're in here trying to goddamn me uh, establish a relationship with an officer. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't say money to me, yeah. They in there, nigga. They in there, boy. Yeah, they in there, they in there for you smart mad boys. You spoiled rich boys. They see y'all, you think you the only one spoiled? Nigga, you ain't spoiled. El Chapo was spoiled. Now look where he at. <laughs> come on, man, you ain't got money like that. You wasn't doing, come on, man. You own these and that, but you know, it was people with way bigger money than you. When they take them down, it's time to go down. Yeah. When it's like, because you didn't do right by your power. But they gave you the power, you didn't do right by it. But now you have to sit there and spend the rest of the little $75 like everybody else spend. Uh, if, whenever they release your funds. <laughs> yeah, whenever they take a hold off your funds, you know. And, uh, see if you got any court restrictions or anything on you, you know. Whenever they get all your stuff, you know what I'm saying. Whenever they get your money together, they give you what they want you to have. But I don't care how much money you got. You can't buy nothing but what's on commissary, boy. Your little billions won't get you nothing but what's on commissary, and you still got a $70 spend every month, boy. I don't give a damn what you extra you want to get. You gonna get treated just like the rest of them get treated. You ain't nobody special. All you in here is a number. Your name ain't nothing. Hello! That's what's gonna happen to Diddy. He gonna have to learn the hard way, boys. With hard time. Yeah, with that. OG Percy. Yes, sir. Um, recently in the news, Charleston White. Oh, shit. Don't get me in no shit, Tom. Uh, I don't want no trouble with Mr. White. Don't get, man, I'm just saying, be careful with your questions when you come down to the white boy. Well, <laughs> Bars. Uh, Charleston recently had a online feud with well-known podcaster, and uh, hip hop cultivator Gilly. Um, oh, you mean Gilly? Yes, sir. 
Um, okay. Now, this is the first altercation that Charleston has had with Gilly. Charleston actually blew up off Gilly with the Pop Hunter situation when Gilly called Pop Hunter a snitch and Charleston defended Pop Hunter. Well, hmm. Gilly had the audacity to come back at Charleston and call him a snitch, and Charleston began to make fun of Gilly's dead son. Um, <coughs> you, you, you saw the video. What were your thoughts on Charleston going in on Gilly? Uh, Giddy better leave that man alone. Better leave Charleston alone. You know, no, um, you know, I ride, I ride with the white boy at all times. The white boys always got the upper hand, man. You no, know, Giddy ought to know better, man. Giddy seen what Charleston do. If, if Giddy want that smoke, it's time for them. That's gonna be a good chess game. I'm, 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 I'm gonna wait on the chess match on this one. Gee, that's a good chess match. I mean, Charleston has battled some of the best on his internet. Um, Gilly had never been um, food for thought. <laughs> Let Gilly know, um, you know, I watch Gilly uh, assaults too on people on her. Uh, he, he got a good uh, attack game too. Shout out to Gilly the kid, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Gilly. I, I watched him on set. I, I watched him stand in neighborhoods on niggas and call niggas out this and tell niggas this ain't where they from and, you know, and prove niggas wrong on what he do. Uh, and, and Gilly would go all the way to the extreme with people just like the white boy will. <laughs> so, mm, that get ready for the um, the Mike Tyson and Hollywood rematch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now forget that. It's gonna be like the Hitman Hearns and uh, Marvin Hagler fight the first round. It's gonna be like that, y'all. It's gonna be like the hit man here. If ever wanna listen to my... Shit, don't worry about it. Them, them some old people. Y'all, man, who you talking about, mama? Yeah, cause I'm trying to see. Y'all look up hit man Hearns and Marvin and Hagler, the first round. The best fight ever, 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 ever. If you wanna know how to fight, that's how it's supposed to go down, nigga, when you jump in the ring. That's how it's supposed to look. If you want to see a bad fight, just the first round. The fight was cold, but when you got two cold people with hand, Marvin Hagler and Hitman Hearns. Hitman Hearns one of the coldest boxers ever hit the green. Um, Marvin Hagler, he had that penitentiary style. And them boys, that first round was, un <laughs> ain't never seen nobody have a first round in boxing history. Not, 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 right now, today, colder than that fight. Well, that's what it's going to be like with Gilly and Charleston. You know, um, well, according to what I've seen, Charles, Charleston got a uh, hell of a, he coming out jabbing, I mean, he coming out there doing what he do. Uh, he got one eye, so he got to fight hard. <laughs> Sometimes I let him out of solitary because he a bad man. Yeah, you know, Charleston has to stay in solitary. I keep him in a goddamn, um, um, you know when they cremate you and they put you in little jaws, y'all? Well, that's what I keep eyeballing. In a urn. Yeah, he, he's under protective custody. This motherfucker, this, this is worse than the shoe. He's in, he don't get to see shit. <laughs> Some of y'all think I'm tripping and shit, but this is where eyeball live. And he's inside the golden egg inside of her because he got to get, he's under special security. Cause one thing about eyeball, he's real dangerous. Now, if... Charlie is fucking, let me, let me help you out. Um, what's his name? Gilly. Gilly, let me help you out, Gilly. I'm, I'm trying to help you. Yeah, I'm from Fort Worth. I, I fuck with Charleston White, he, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's um, top rank around her, in the ring around her when it comes to the internet. Uh, got two hard hitters out of Fort Worth, Texas when it comes to the internet. Well, it got, you got two of the hardest hitters out of Texas when it comes to the internet. Uh, and everybody, them two just happen to be out of Fort Worth. Uh, I don't think there's nobody better than them two in Fort Worth. I think they're the two coldest in Fort Worth. Well, hell, I think they're the two coldest in Texas. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, ain't nobody else singing like Charleston in person. Uh, you know, I'm not going to argue that, dispute that. I think, uh, I don't know, Yayo might be one of the harder hitters out of Fort Worth, though, when uh, he does who said hit. on this internet? 
He used to be on the internet a lot. You got, he gonna have to get some. He had to get some wins under his belt to catch up. You just can't jump in and say that you're a champ. You know, you gotta prove to us you're a champ. Your numbers is the way you prove to us that you're a champ. Would uh, you say salsa? Uh, a rap song don't prove nothing. That's right. a song. Right. Uh, we not we not rappers. Right. We I say we two of the hardest speakers on this internet. Yayo gonna hold his own when it comes to this rap shit because he the coldest. My bad, OG. Y'all don't want no more. You don't want no more? I gotta get it. Yeah, I gotta get it. Yeah, you get yeah, you get you get threw, you threw my nigga name out there. Yeah, I got to be in there. Yayo yeah, oh, yeah, is man. the coldest right. in the rap game. Right, right, right. Uh, me and Charleston the coldest on this internet. You understand me, gang, that we do. Right. And, uh, uh, Yayo and OG Percy, we in two different um, categories. And right. Charleston, we in, you know, no, now, now one thing about yeah, yo, he can jump in the ring. Right. Uh, he, he, he left the ring. He left in the ring. <laughs> he left a hard hitter in the ring. Yeah, he left. A hard hitter in the ring. Yeah. When he went out, a hard hitter in the ring. You're right. with the police behind him with a chase. Yeah, yeah, in the blunt. <laughs> in the ring. Uh, doing his thing on the lives. Cause um, he was on. Uh, yeah, 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 yo is no, he's not. He, he's still undisputed. Um. Uh, on the internet, if he if he jump out there on your ass, he will jump out there on you, <laughs> um, right. jump on your jump on your back like a cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He cold. Uh, I used to look at him. You know me and him and fought already. Right. On the internet, uh, several times. You know me and him. You know uh, I went straight in on him when my my, my little homie um baby half got killed. I went straight to the internet on yeah yo and boo got in all the nigga. I was trying to get some action. <laughs> right. Yeah, back then. That was way back then. That was at the White House. They know that from way, way back then. Uh, and Boo Guy said, man, that old nigga person, he's goddamn fool. That nigga, they hell, man. Man, who was this old nigga? That nigga, hell, man. Tell OG person to chill. Nah, I was on that, but um, them niggas right there was, uh, they was hard hitters too. Boo Guy was another hard hit on that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> But you know about CJ Bugatti. is another hard hitter mm -hmm. on the internet. I gotta give yeah, everybody a call. CJ that. decent hitter. But, but on the when, when it comes to rapping, I don't know. Listen to me. When I say when, when, when hard hitter, when was the last time he hit? But, but let me let me tell you on something. On the internet. Let me, let me, on let me, the internet. But let me give you the game. When I say hard hitters on the internet, I am not talking rapping. I'm not talking about I no rap. I ain't seen CJ do nothing I'm talking rap. about all internet beef. I, I've seen him now on Instagram. You know, whoever he gets, yeah, watch it. We watched him in the daddy beef on this mug. Right. Yeah, you CJ watch me did and go hard. CJ did go hard. Yeah, CJ is a hard yeah, hitter. Yeah, okay, he's, a hard he's, a hard hitter. hitter. <laughs> he's a hard hitter. When it he's comes to the internet, that's all yeah. I'm talking. I'm not talking no rap song, no nothing. I'm talking about folk word has started. We the real, we the coldest nigga when it comes to the beefing on the internet. <laughs> we started this shit, nigga. I swear to God, we did. Who was doing it like we was doing it? Nobody. Charleston and OG Percy going at it. <laughs> Before the Charleston and OG Percy, it was. Percy and Yayo going at it. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Percy and CJ going at it. Right. Yeah, I didn't battle with the best stuff. I, Percy and Bugatti going at it, nigga. Right. Yeah, I told Bugatti, meet me at the park right down there, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Tripping. On the internet, me had a tripping with the young niggas. I bet you mm, need to start putting guns. Oh, no. Nah, nah, I thought we were going to keep the internet, nigga. I'll fight, but I ain't going to kill nobody. Ain't that goddamn serious shit. Then we start seeing bodies on the internet. And shit got real on the internet. And then, Yayo went to jail on the internet and shit got realer when he left. Cause then like, God damn, ain't nobody really just to play with, you know what I'm Me and Yayo, we was... And then Charleston and Light came along. And me and him went to get into it. But when the internet get that serious to where it'll take your life, you better pay attention to what the fuck you do on this internet. Uh, when I say we hard hitters, don't think it just come with the talk, nigga. It come with the action. It ain't just nothing you call him be a blogger, nigga, and be the niggas that we talking that we is on her, and you ain't that nigga you talking that you is on her. Right. My city don't play that shit. Uh, it's best for peace in our city on the internet, because this internet turned into what it is, nigga, if you talking about what you talking about. Uh, nigga make all the talking stop. You hear me? All you see is pictures of niggas. On t-shirts and that's how turn a nigga into a picture. <laughs> Hello! They didn't catch that one. Turn a nigga into a picture. But get back to topic. <laughs> this tune took me around the block. Uh, 
I keep Charleston in here. Cause Gilly and Charleston got a, that's gonna be a, oh, oh, oh see, he, he trying to get at it. Okay, hold on man, hold on. That, that's how corrupt eyeball is. Now Gilly, I'm, I'm gonna give you a word of advice. You know, when you're fighting a champ like Charleston. Just fuck with Charleston, don't fuck with eyeball. Right now, it looks like eyeball is already coming. Let me, let me help y'all out, y'all. God damn, he can let this nigga out. Oh, he mad too. Hold on, nigga, chill, nigga. God damn, y'all hear him? God damn, can I take the cuffs off of you? God damn, this nigga here, motherfucker. Here, nigga. Yeah. Damn, he said, he said, light hurting his eyes. <laughs> this is what I created. This is eyeball. Gilly. Eyeball is gonna attack you from every direction you come. Eyeball, don't, and he fucked up right. He mad at me right now because I left him in that motherfucker too long. Don't look at me, nigga. Yeah, he, he said, ah, he said the sun hurting his eyes right now. Yeah, he said the sun. I got a block little rays out. But then this eyeball, this is what Gilly is dealing with right now. Eyeball, don't give a fuck about your son, your mama, your kid. Ah, he don't see nothing. So he don't give a fuck about what you talking about. He gonna Charleston, you know, Charleston all right. Charleston all right, you know, I don't know how you niggas bumped heads. I don't know how y'all got off the course. Y'all be better, but ooh, I, I love to see y'all on side of each other working together. That'll be a nice piece of game. Boy, that'll be a good chess game, but the way you know, she gotta start off like this, with the pushing and the shoving. Um, I mean, you know, Giddy, you know you, you got out of time. You know, you done jumped in them rings with niggas before because you know how to throw slugs too, Giddy. Don't, don't act like I didn't hurt you. I didn't seen you. But when you're dealing with this one right there, she just better be ready for the slugs because you, you got a hard hit on your end. Eyeball ain't going to play no games. Eyeball don't give a fuck about nothing. He don't see nothing. He don't care about nothing. He has no feelings at all. Oh, why well, I'm talking about him? Because this who lives in Charleston Head. <laughs> yeah, he take him. He put him in his head every day. He lives in there. <laughs> Bars. Every time he put him in his head, yeah, he lives in there. And he going to talk that shit. Eyeball don't give a fuck. Because Eyeball don't see what Charleston see. Charleston is a good man. Eyeball, damn fool. You wake Eyeball up, your ass in trouble. Well, look like you done woke Eyeball up. Because I seen Charleston a while ago. And... I couldn't get a word out of him, but I heard Eyeball. <laughs> and Eyeball is a character, a comedian. Uh, he has a very, very good character assault game. Very good. He will, he'll bust you down. <laughs> he gonna assault your character. He gonna take you as far as he can take it. Uh, he don't give a fuck what you say. You playing with him? Let's play. He don't turn down no punches. He don't turn down no bodies. Uh, shout out to Charleston. Uh. Taz ass up, Charleston. Taz ass. I'm, I'm rooting for Charleston. I mean, I'm just saying, though, my bad. I got to keep it Texas. I'm from the murder, from Texas. Uh, I love to see this game be played. It's going to be a good chess game to watch. But, I, you know, I, you know I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Texas fan. I like the Cowboys, the Rangers, and everybody else. And I like Charleston, nigga. So, um, um. Charleston not going to ease up. And he gonna spank that ass if he can, cause um, that's how we was taught to do it on this internet. Right. Uh, that's how we play. One little brothers and King, you and uh, uh, Gilly, Charleston, y'all niggas, goddamn man, y'all get together so we can see some good shit. We all gonna get on stage one day. Let's go, man, boss. OG Percy. What is it, Tune? Well, um, some good news. Some good news. Um, <laughs> South by Southwest happened. Mm -hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? This is your second year out there. Uh, man. how'd you feel about the experience? Man, hold on. Wake up. Oh, okay. Y'all ready? We were talking about Southwest by Southwest too? Yeah, Southwest by Southwest. I just had to take me a naughty nod. <laughs> I just had to take me a naughty nod. Oh. Shout out to Austin, man. We did it again. You pulled up to Pop Austin. Yeah, I sure did. Ready to pop the smoke. Get it? Pop smoke? I don't worry about it, man. Just talk my shit, y'all. That mean pop the smoke. Don't think I'll call. 
Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I know how y'all be thinking. Um, but anyway, man, hey, to another, another, another real tune move, like we do, like we move. Yeah. Um, we coming, y'all. There you go. Please, good chess move on the board. Um, thanks to everybody that played chess with us this year. Um, uh, the ones that didn't win, no, no. I only seen one loser on the board, one loss. They had one loss, one person lost. Who was that? T.T. Naughty. Yeah, you lost. Uh, shout out to uh, MPK, uh, OTM Zay, uh, Jet. I, I, I heard um, Jet, Naughty, Naughty got out of jail. Do you think he snitched to get out? I mean, it depends on how he got out. When they said it was a murder charge and he got on a PR bond. A who bond? Not, not a murder charge, but can you, can, can, can you tell me what a, a PR a, bond a, means? Okay, so a PR bond. Let me tell you what, you tell me what it means, I'm going to tell you what I know it means. So. Go. A PR bond is a promise to pay. A promise to appear. <laughs> P-R. Okay. Promise to appear. You're basically saying that we trust you to appear. Usually you don't get those in violent cases. Cases that involve violence, you're not getting a PR bond. Um, I had some friends, group of friends, uh, 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 Trey Parker, my nigga, uh, T from VSG, and uh, this guy named Number Four. Well, Number Four uh, told where the guns was at when the police came and took Trey Parker and them down. Number Four was awarded a PR bond. Um, Trey Parker, I believe, got out um, on bond. And uh, T from VSG also got out on bond. Um, TT Naughty was given a PR bond. PR bond doesn't state that you're innocent. PR bond doesn't state that you're guilty. PR bond states that the state doesn't find you as a likely risk, to my knowledge. Man, I know you ain't talking to me, too. About no PR bond. <laughs> All that shit Toon just said, y'all. I had to eat me a cake in the middle. Y'all gonna be mad at me because I'm eating my cake or Toon the ram with sugar. Yeah. Talking about that sugar ass nigga. That, that, that's cold. You ran with sugar up, Toon. I'm gonna put this down for a minute. Before I say a mouthful. <laughs> um. Tells him a crib. I was a okay. young kid, man. I got into some trouble, man. And um, I, uh, I got locked up for the first time ever. My daddy, I was a daddy, baby. My daddy never wanted to see me locked up. Uh, never. My daddy never wanted to see me locked up. My daddy cried like a baby. She, he crying, and I'm acting like, oh, I'm just locked up. I don't know what's wrong with daddy. But for some reason, my daddy was scared. He knew I was headed down the wrong path, but he never, ever wanted to see me locked up. It just broke his heart to see me get in trouble. Every time I never seen my daddy get emotional until I got in trouble. He should always tell me, son, you know what you doing, you know, sit down and talk to me and shed tears and be talking to me, man, what you doing, man? I don't know what the hell I'm doing, daddy, but I'm tripping. And my daddy never, so if I got in real trouble, man, my daddy would do whatever he had to do, man, to look out for me. I went to jail one day, my daddy was standing outside with two cartons of cigarettes, some t-shirts and some boxes in his hand. And the people, I was like, daddy, yeah, he was like, son, I got you this. I said, Daddy, you can't come in there with that. <laughs> he was standing outside. You could see outside the door where the visitation where we stand at. They come from outside straight in. And my dad would let me know he was going to bring me some cigarettes. Nah, he don't know what jail about. He, my daddy never been to a jail, a prison, or nothing in his life. My dad was a hard working man. But anyway, uh, PR boy. I got it. I got it. Um, when my daddy was down, he had to go talk to the judge. And when he was talking to the judge, he asked the judge, I got myself in trouble, and he asked the judge, could the judge let me out? And I was sitting in jail just, no shit, I had made trustee, first time locked up. And somebody came and said, Percy Demerson. I said, yes, sir. He said, roll it up. Man, where you moving me to now? He said, roll it up. What that mean? He said, mean you going home. I said, I can't be going home. I just got locked up. <laughs> Ain't nobody came and got me. You know what I'm saying, me, shit, I'm in trouble, shit. I'm, I, I got to return, I got to, I ain't, I ain't going home, nigga, I just got some time. And I had been locked up by like three weeks and I was waiting to catch the chain up out of here. And I'm like, damn. He said, man, evidently somebody love you. I said, they can't love me, I already got my time, man. He said, um, 
Well, somebody may got you out. So somebody said, I had a PR boom. A PR boom? I said, yeah. Let me give y'all what a PR boom is. It's called a promise to return. Promise to return. Promise to return. That's something that, because they trust you like he said. They trust you and got it all packed legally. In the hood, the street, we call that's a promise to return bond. Which you're only eligible for if you qualify. So I guess we got If you qualify, you have to qualify for the PR bond. To qualify for the PR bond, we're gonna need your, uh, your help. If you can't help us, we can't help you. PR bond mean you don't need no money for this. But you need something for this. You just can't get, you, I mean, you need a clean record for number one. You know what I'm saying? You need a clean record, which, uh, tell me, please, see it. Make it make sense. T.T. Naughty don't have a clean record. Yeah. Okay, so he's... <laughs> Wait, hold on. I, I, I'm, He's I'm on not, gang I'm, file. He don't got a clean record. I, I, I could have swore he just got out the feds. Meaning he's not a first-time offender. Which are, which are the ones that's eligible for PR bonds. Now, you can work with us and we can work with you. If you, you know, want a PR bond. Because we know you good people. You know, we know where you just came from. So we know that you will... Promise to return. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Promise to return. Now, that means I'm not free, but I'm free for right now. I'm not free, but I'm free for right now. Who fucks with a nigga that's free for right now? And we don't know how you got free. I don't know. But I know you ain't eligible for no PR, bud. Your background told us that, nigga. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm not the messiest nigga in the world, but I could have swore. Uh, nigga said you, you just got arrested with guns in the car or something like that. Oh, my bad. They did say you told everything. My bad. My bad. So you was really... Oh, yeah, they did say... Oh, yeah. I forgot did, he did have that attempted. You know, they did say, yeah. You went down for, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, you got to make it make sense. I'm not the smartest nigga in the world, but it sure like the dumbest. But guess what I am? What are you? Shit, I'm on point. I'm on point. Um, when you on point, that means you can't, you can't just tell a nigga that's been in the system anything. See, I'm not one of them niggas sit on the sideline and say, oh, you got on PR, boy? Shit, I'm going to say, how you do that? <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. That was the real. And they say, oh, man, nigga made PR, boy. Man, how you do that? He not eligible for no PR, boy. Only the real niggas know that. Only the ones that's um, not ignorant to the law know that. Right. How about that? Yeah, but I'm not gonna say nothing about you. I'm gonna let it tell it on yourself. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm glad to see you free. Whatever works for you, um, whatever works for you, but please, PR bond would have been the last thing I said I was out on. You hear me? <laughs> right. Shit, for, for a nigga in, uh, with my background. Because real niggas know that. We know better than that. But go ahead, go, go on play, go on. it'll play it. That's gonna play itself out. Because you got a promise to return. Uh, but a PR bond, that's what that means. You got to come back. But my thing with Naughty, uh, uh, can I please hit him, can I hit him with, a, with a little spiritual please? Please. Spiritual warfare again on TTE, Naughty. I told you. My daddy said he want his motherfucking money back. He said he knew you was going to run off with his money, nigga. Yeah. When I gotta jump spiritual in the spiritual realm, which I'm, you know, transitioning, you know, I'm transforming right now, because my daddy told me to let you know he want his money back. That money you sit there and beg them for in that corner, he said, you sit there and you told them you help me one more time, get me out this trouble, and I, I promise, yeah, that promise you made him. Oh, I don't know what he talking about, but he told me he gave you the loan, nigga. He gave you keys that P Diddy don't even got right now to get out. You got walking papers. See, one thing about how you got out, yeah. I could have called it a pure rat case. <sighs> My bad. I could have named the PRP rat. Don't worry, that went over y'all heat. But that money you borrowed from daddy when you went in that corner and told him, say, man, one more time. Just, you remember that? 
I don't know what he talking about. He just told me to let you know. When you was over there doing this one more time, whatever he gave, and he gave you the money, he gave you keys to shit that people don't even got keys to. You got out. Come on. Nigga, money don't get you out, boy. And you didn't have to use none. Dad, daddy, gave you, daddy gave you a loan that you asked for. That, that, that he don't even give people loans. It, this got to be a spirit. Y'all got to look at me from a spiritual. When I'm talking about daddy, I ain't talking about a, a, a physical father. I'm talking about a spiritual father because that's the only one that can get you out of places like that. Right. That's the only one got keys to places like that. Your money can't get you out of places like that. You know how many niggas in there that put up ranches, house, and cars, and still need a couple more thousand just to get out? <laughs> Letting you know your money can't get you out of them situations. But the man with the keys to the door, you got a connection with him. He got a connection with you. He gave you a loan. He said, here, take this loan. I'm going to let you get up out of here, man. Go out there and pay me back. What do you do, nigga? You come out here and run out with daddy money. Right here, Daddy, you ain't seen you try to turn the leaves, change, change the subject, uh, quit boo-hooing and boo hiding and everything else on it. Man, because of you, so many niggas, you ain't even changed your, you ain't even changed your tone of talking yet. Daddy said you ran out, but he said, guess what? He said he knew you were going to do it before he gave it to you. <laughs> he said he already knew what you were going to do when he gave it to you. And you ran out with daddy money. But that's cool. He said, they ain't what he mad at. <laughs> he mad about when you got out, you didn't tell him thank you. He said, well, he mad about when you got out, you ain't did nothing to show no appreciation what he did. He said, hey, that's what, that other stuff you ain't mad about, but that's what he mad about. But um, he tells you, oh, enjoy, because guess what? You promise to return, boys. Uh, final question. <laughs> Where we at here, Tim? That damn sugar rush. You came to my South by Southwest event. Mm-hmm. Amazing book premiere. By yes, the way, sir. You, did, you did an amazing job. Thank you, sir. Um, fans loved you. Mm. Fans loved you, man. I seen one woman had a tattoo of you. <laughs> damn. Tatted your name on Did you know her? No. So a woman just randomly tattooed your name. Man, my baby mama's got tattoos on. I got, I got a few tattoos. Okay, okay, okay. I might have got but one. I don't remember that one though. Right, right. right. <laughs> you ain't, you don't remember? Never. You ain't claiming it. Mm mm. Let's go, Tony. Uh, hey man. Well, um, Tony Woolridge. Mm hmm. You ran into Tony Woolridge. We seen a clip come out or mm -hmm. surface, um, where it showed Tony Woolridge tried to lock seas with you. <laughs> um, for, for those who may not have been there, what, 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 what was your take when you saw him stick his hand out? I told him, man, go on with that bullshit. That's what I told him. I didn't have a take. Uh, <laughs> uh, once you prove yourself the first time, you don't got to prove it the second time. You hear me? Right. I proved my first, first time I was a real nigga just to shake your hand. I did the same, same thing I did to you the first time I met you. I shook your hand. I ain't never like no seeds with you. Now you're playing games. He talking about, I said, nah, I said, man, I don't know what the bullshit, man. Don't do that. Then he said, I said, I'll shake your hand, but I don't like, man, don't try to like no seeds with me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. What made you still shake his hand in spite because of Because he a man. Out. Right. He a man, he a fan, and he's standing there like the rest of them. Um, you niggas would not flag me on the ABC EFG community <laughs> for not shaking hands. We wouldn't even get to go live today if I didn't shake hands to him. Mm, I never thought about how I know you never, you never, you never think about nothing. You gonna get us pop. Right. <laughs> you better shake that yeah, hand. Yeah, I, I better. Because what, what you hiding, nigga? I being real. I know who I am. I don't have a complex about who I am. Right. Niggas that, niggas that, man, yo shit, white man, that's a man, cause a man gonna shake a man's hand. That's how I see him as a man. Anything else, nigga, something wrong with me. Hello? Don't worry about that. So, man, one nigga said, man, you shaking nigga hand too many times. Cuz, what is you looking at? I shake his hand about three times, cuz. That's a man. Cuz, guess what? Let me show you something, too. It's the difference between this handshake. Hold on. Let me get it. Right. And then it's different between my hand shake. What's right. up? Yeah. yeah, he gotta feel that. <laughs> right, a little hurt, yeah. a little uh Yeah, you gotta feel that second one. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, you know, I'm all, yeah, it's a real man up here. Right. Oh, I sure don't want no, yeah, your handshake and my handshake gonna tell me. Yeah, and I had to let him feel that man. It's a man here. He right. knew when he had shook his hand not to play with me. Right. A handshake will tell it all when you feel it. Right. And the look in the nigga eyes, you know, hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying, me? But, you know, it's always a time for everything. It ain't a time to show out clown and make nobody look bigger than me and little than you. Oh, nigga, no whole ass nigga. No bullshit. That bitch, you know, cause a confusion. Uh, right. You know, spoil the tune. Hit a bad note on the tune. You hear me? Right. Now, that would have did no good. Nigga, we'd have had a rainbow over our head today. <laughs> and then tomorrow, say, we wouldn't have got together. We wouldn't say, mm-hmm. you'd run the whole community down on our ass. But I didn't do it because of that reason. I did it because he a man just like I'm a man. I got respect for anybody. I ain't never had, I, listen man, uh, I told everybody from the jump, I never did what I said I did, so why would I have a problem with it? You feel me soon? <laughs> uh, Tony know I didn't stamp him to be no goddamn crip. <laughs> he, he used what he could use, he ran with it, he made the news, he made no jumper, he made niggas jump, you hear me? <laughs> And he did what he did what he did off of OG person name. And I appreciate that because he took me places in a name brand that um, not even these bitch niggas done took me that's talking about me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? At least he got us to got got some spotlight on a nigga. It took the um the um X T U V W X Y M Z community to get me all the way to no jumper. But they got me there. Why would I damn them and don't shake their hand, you know what I'm saying? When they come around and treat them like they, you know what I'm saying? I'm a man, y'all. Uh, I don't have a problem with no gay guys, no feminine guys, no whatever you is guys. Uh, I'm a man, I'm gonna consider to be that. Uh, whatever you is is your preference. Uh, when you approach me, approach me like a man, be a man, and uh, hey, we can stay in a man place. Tony approached me like a man, <laughs> trying to lock seeds. <laughs> he knew, nah, we ain't on that nigga, but I'll shake your hand. You a man though, you understand me? And uh, turn out to be a perfect pitch at the end, even with real tone. Bars. Yeah, I was about to say, ah! yeah, I ain't on what you want. Hey, hold on, listen, you listen, want, listen, I'm not on that. Listen, listen, I'm not Bob. Listen, like I said, like I, not, like I said, it. I ain't Bob. But what I just told y'all, I, I said at the end of the picture, right. up being No, the picture was perfect. Yeah, the picture. Shout out Tony, man. Shout out to Tony. I said at the end of the picture. It turned out to be perfect. He even tuned John in. Yeah, I tell him then. <laughs> you know, I like to get understanding before we move That's forward. Nigga, you know That's what I'm my nigga, though. That's my nigga, though. I fuck with that Tony. Tony yeah, I joined it. Yeah, I did. I, I got to Guess what? What? what what's that something? turned out to be a perfect picture for everybody, man. And That's it. Good, 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 great men coming together, man, and, and letting niggas know on this internet we are fool. Right. Get your bitch ass clown on this motherfucker, but we know how to come together and be men as black men and appreciate each other as men, man. You get what I'm saying? I'm glad to know one thing, OG. Let's go. Um, and that, you're not the first, well, you may have been the, one of the first, uh-huh. but you weren't the last victim of Tony's. Um, recently, Big X The Plug decided to do a promo video with Tony, where Tony announced that Big X The Plug pulled up on him. Ooh. Yeah. Now, when Big X heard Tony say he pulled up on him, Big X <laughs> said, no. No, I did I did not pull up on you. We just have to be in the same club. <laughs> But I love the LGBTQ community. <coughs> um, you <coughs> haven't got caught more of the worser end of the stick because people actually made it seem like, you know, whatever was said, whatever the narrative was, was the narrative that they ran with. <coughs> um, you watching the video that Big X did uh, with Tony, what were your thoughts? Uh, all right, man. Uh, shout out to Big X for using his, uh, his, his common sense real quick. He's a quick thinker. Uh, right. When Tony jumped out and said, "Hey, Big X pulled up on me," he said, "No, I didn't." <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know that. You know when you know. Uh, <laughs> I count that as a ball. You know for, by Tony being gay and Big X just being a real nigga. You know he can say pull up on me is any type of shit. You hear me? Right. You understand me? But uh, and he said, "No, I didn't." He thought real quick, but he don't have a problem with that community of people. Uh, shout out to Big X, man, for even just giving that community of people they shout out back because he let them know. Uh, me and him stay in the same bracket. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, don't try to mix me in your coffee, nigga, but um, do what you do. I don't got a problem with you. You dig what I'm saying? Right. Um, but shout out to Tony. Tony know how to make him play. <laughs> Gonna make a play on nigga ass. Big X, you better watch him. Thank you, Fad. Good thank you, Fad, Big X. But, um, it's all love in the community, man. Uh, 
Big Ace the Plug, good nigga though. <coughs> good people. <coughs> I want to meet him myself. <coughs> <coughs> Big X, OG <coughs> trying to meet you, man. <coughs> Big X, OG person said, what's cracking? <coughs> and gun him easy, man. We need to go sit down with gun him, man. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Hey, real tone, it's some real money in the room.